you listening to Radio Africa. Aye. We're very pleased uh, today is Friday to have uh, Ali Bullivant. Yes. yes. <laughs> beautiful, lovely name there. Uh, it's a beautiful day. She's uh, she's just traveled from uh, from Wakefield to yes. come and see us today in Millersboro. We are based. We're going to have a very beautiful, good time. She just brought a beautiful guitar also there because she's a singer-songwriter. If I can add maybe composer. That's correct. That's correct. She has made a beautiful journey through music because you can tell from the record that we've got in front of us the new album the recent album which is uh, the Wakefield album so we got beautiful tracks we're gonna play from hey it will be acoustic and live before we start let us say hi to our VIP hi Ali hello Robert hi very nice to be here I can hear you. Come again oh, the mic. Yes. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear um, you now. Can you hear yourself? I can hear myself, yeah. This is the radio, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> Very nice to be right, here. Right, so we said hi, Ali. Hello, hello, Robert. How was it? Yeah, it's good, thanks. All Traveling well. from uh, from Wakefield to Millersboro. That's right, yeah, easy journey, just up the A1. So it was a good journey. Nice to be here. First visit to this part of the world. Are you sure? Yeah. I'm amazed to hear that. Yeah, me too. Sometimes they're traveling. So you always talk toward more south than toward more north? Um, no, no, I do come up. I come to, um, up to Scotland sometimes, into Edinburgh. Right. So I do go up and down the country. <laughs> exactly, um, yeah. Newcastle. And yeah. But for some reason, and never stops off at Middlesbrough, so I'm really happy to be here. Thanks so today is the right one, isn't it? It is the right place <laughs> to be, absolutely. <laughs> Thanks. That's beautiful. So now, today we're going to talk more about your album, which mm-hmm. is the recent one, and uh, a little bit journey of your music. Okay, lovely. Right? Yeah. Uh, to start with, let us start with a beautiful one, so we can warm ourselves up, because it's cold out there. Yeah. So can we start with, which one you want? I like Brief. Which one you want? Oh, shall I play that one? Yes. Ah, lovely. Which yeah. one you want? I'll do breathe. Okay. okay. So here we go. Ali Bullivant. Yeah. Playing us breathe. What a beautiful album and tracks. Well written. Breathe. Here we go. I can breathe again. I was fighting for my life. The fire's back in my eyes and I can breathe again Everything's gonna be alright Got an inner mystery Makes me sigh and cry Well it can knock me down in my memories Give me room and watch me rise I'm not a flower of the land I need to dwell on the shore I want to go on past the moon I'm gonna dance the storm I can breathe again I was fighting for my life Now the fire's back in my eyes I can breathe again Everything's gonna be alright Spread my wings out in the sun Catch a whispering breeze Watch my spirit soar I'm loving liberty I'm not a plower of the land I need to dwell on the shore I'm gonna go on past the moon I need to dance the storm I can breathe again for my life, now the fire's back in my eyes and I can breathe again, everything's gonna be alright, yes I can breathe again, I was fighting for my life, fire's back in my eyes and I can breathe again, everything's gonna be alright. Drink the wild water. And eat from the trees I'm living life as I ought to And this is what it means To drink the wild waters And eat from the trees I'm living life as I ought to And this is what it means Do 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 do
in my eyes and I can breathe again everything's gonna be alright yes I can breathe I was falling did you see that I was dying I was going down oh words to say because the music is so just beautiful tell us ali breathe again mm. what inspired you to write this song um well the main the main was i was uh, going through quite a hard time and um i was going through quite a hard time and uh felt that everything was going wrong and, and i couldn't cope with life anymore and work was wrong and personal life was wrong and it was all just hard really um but i just stuck with it <laughs> and kept going through <laughs> like you do because what else can you do and then of course like you always do if you can just 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 keep the faith and keep strong i came out the other side and i thought ah oh, it's okay i can breathe again now and <laughs> life's okay and and i want to live freely and i want to breathe the air in and and it's all right life's all right so you're saying all these pieces of difficulties of life that you have mentioned around bothering you yeah until you touch the guitar until you made a song and then you expressed it mm. so it means that music was what mm. is what made you to open the door i think um for to move away from mm. is that a mm. is that what you're gonna say i find that um quite a lot actually I I use um singing and music as as a way to express my feelings and also to move through things as um something that can be a therapeutic platform it can also be a real expression of what you're you're feeling yes. um as music and singing always has been because um if you're a singer it is your voice your your singing voice is your speaking voice it's your way of saying listen to me this is what i have to say this is what's happening to me or this is what has happened to me um on a very personal level and then songs of course can can be about a million different things i can do so you, music is the right place where you always sit and feel free and express yourself from for myself yeah absolutely that's that's how i because I that's the way myself. i heard from the song itself yeah. brief, which, which is a beautiful track beautiful track expressing a lot of beautiful beautiful lines emotions and receipt resilience you know mm. that energy of keep on moving keep on going yeah you are a resilient lady isn't it i'm very resilient yeah right uh tell us how did you started music because we have talked about the song itself because it was an introduction yeah. to warm ourselves which is a beautiful way yeah tell us how did you started music um well i was very lucky to come from a musical family right. i've got four older brothers and they all played guitar and they all sang okay um so i just brought up as a little girl having that around me all the time yes um and what's very interesting to search i heard that leonard cohen has very sadly died yes and yes and he yes. was one of the first artists i remember hearing because my brothers were of that exactly, era yes. Yes. playing his music yeah um so i was just surrounded by all this sort of 60 beautiful 70s, inspirations yes 80s songs <laughs> and then build um, you up yeah and also um, i sang in the church choir right um, yeah so which is a beautiful place also to train yourself isn't I've got it a very good training there and a, and an excellent for myself um yes. training for harmony hearing harmony right right from listening to those um four part harmonies exactly yes. um which has stood me in very good stead as a choir leader which is something else i do as well and i also write choral compositions for choirs yes so now because you are talking about being part of the choir mm. the church space mm. where you, you know you get a chance to be trained with uh, all these good uh classic special classic musicians that are always the part in the churches uh so we're talking about beautiful time now it's december mm. although we are not yet there but we just left with uh, two weeks three weeks to go isn't it's it it's coming it's coming so it's about you being part of that uh, environment 
mm. trained in the church. Mm. Beautiful way of learning. Mm. Is that the way it came for you to write Christmas song? Because you love that environment of being in the church. You you mm. grew up being there. You mm. grew up being a, a, a younger person being in the church, and mm. then those memories of beautiful mm. times. Mm. Part uh, uh, part of it is the family uh, 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 mm. activities linked to the church. Is that bring the, the brought you to 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 write Chris Christmas song? Is that Christmas or Christmas songs? Yeah, Christmas, Christmas songs. songs. Is that Christmas? songs isn't it christmas songs and yeah. carols um i do I, oh no sorry this chris's song that's not about that no all right that's about somebody called chris oh so <laughs> <laughs> so it means i love christmas oh it's just because we're going <laughs> right right i'm yeah. on my glasses now i can see it now it's chris song chris's not, song yeah. not christmas song guys <laughs> yeah. i got about, it too fast it's about a man called chris <laughs> yeah it's be- it's beautiful because in your album there's a title Church on a Bridge. I think I linked it very very quickly to uh, okay. Church Christmas and all this. It's beautiful. Yeah. Thanks for reminding me that it's not Christmas yet. <laughs> no, so wait. now we're talking about Chris song is beautiful, isn't it? Chris, it mm. comes like Christmas. Mm. Let's wrap it around there because very soon we'll be having Christmas anyway. So what yeah. is Chris song? This is actually a very sad song. Um, Don't say that. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a song of um, somebody who I loved who died, oh, and so uh, it's sad. Uh, and this is a song we actually wrote together. Okay, um, that's he was a musician. Beautiful. Yeah. Um, a long time ago, and then after he died, I rewrote the words. Um, okay. As a a memory to him. That's true. I would like to hear it truly. I think my yeah. listeners, you listening to Radio Africa, I, I listen to beautiful things there. You know, we do things together. Sometimes we miss part of our journey, the way it was made. The continuity is still there, but the memories are always around us. Mm. So she wrote this song to remember that beautiful time because they wrote it together with Chris. I would not like to say it too much. Let Ali express the song Chris song all that I do is think him alive this is the work that I do all of our memories are carved upon my heart and I'm keeping a vision of you can you not see where our home still stands it isn't a temple of stone we cannot rebuild it with mortal hands this was our life alone angels on high hold hands with my love tell me our loving was true all of our history cannot be denied what I am saying is true and I see your eyes in the child you left behind and of course I see your smile when I see him every once in a while but I never let him see me cry Never let him see me crying. with my love tell me our loving was true all of my memories are carved upon my heart 
and I'm keeping a vision of you. Yes, I'm keeping a vision of you. Oh, I'm keeping a vision of you. Voila! What a beautiful track. Good memories. Yeah. Never die. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. It is a sad song, but for me, it's very inspiring a lot mm. to see people when we get together, when there's the true magic of energy around us. And then the sad time comes sometime, but in the same time, other ones have to carry on. Mm. You're a strong woman, isn't it? I hope strong so. lady. I hope so. I think um, we need to be able to uh, we need to be able to write sad songs as well true. and be true to that feeling you know especially in our culture that we try and um, hear when people die we don't know what to say we don't know what to do and mm. it's part of life it's yeah. true yes and yes. It's, it's fine to be sad exactly and yes because yeah. if we're not sad about people that we've loved we know yeah. you know yeah. what was the love about <laughs> exactly so it's part of life isn't it? truly truly yeah. yeah but the very important things is the memory the beauty of that part we keep yeah. to carry on with and what we learn from each other exactly yeah part of, it's just part of our journey true very very interesting mm. i love it i love the track thank you mm. it's true <laughs> 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 but the beautiful album itself is making just a beautiful mode to have in my hands when i listen to the album itself many many times i came i could not stop listening to it Oh. I say I can't I can't wait to have Ali in the studio so she's she can also play it a little bit live yeah. for me to hear apart from the records uh, that's the reason we say let us do first live yeah. and have it uh, so we can really warm ourselves with with this beautiful album uh, the next one I want you to play is rap me warm oh. you know uh, because you just a warm person you know Ali you're just a warm person warm artist uh, you're very inspirational Oh, the album nice. sounds beautiful. I would recommend this album to okay. everybody who come across it. Get it. It's Ali Bulvan. Eh? Yeah? Well pronounced, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, uh, guide me there. <laughs> yeah, Ali Bulvan. Bulvan. Yeah, because it's a little bit of French mix there. Yeah. Although I've got also a little French speaking, but yes. uh, the beauty, I have to make sure that it's right. And the album is called The Wakefield Album. That's right. Which is already online, everywhere in the shelves. You go to everywhere you get it. Mm -hmm. uh, beautiful to have. And there's uh, these beautiful images of uh, uh, butterflies, which is a beautiful symbol. Mm. You know, mm. this butterfly is always a very mm. beautiful little creature. Mm -hmm. Innocent, yeah. lovely, do his own, fly a little bit nice, come down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's just beautiful. So now, yeah. let us play Wrap Me Warm from Ali Bullivant. Bullivant, yeah? Yes. <laughs> get it right? Bullivant. Yeah. Right. Now I'll get it right. Okay. We got it. We got it. Okay. It's beautiful. Wrap Me Warm. Wrap Me Warm by Ali Bullivant. Warm me in this night In my trust and freedom Though my blanket's thin and torn Wrap me warm Outside lies oppression I put my trust in freedom My palm is ready for your hand Wrap me warm in the cold And the wind and the storm Will you wrap me warm? In the cold and the wind and the storm Will you wrap me warm? And death holds no dominion Consider time and space I'll hold a million children To make this world a safer place And when all hope is fading I'll try and reach a quieter shore and I'll dig a hole to hide in And I'll pray to God the roof won't fall In the cold And the wind and the storm Will you wrap me warm? In the cold And the wind and the storm Will you wrap me warm? In the cold 
home Will you wrap me warm In the cold And the winds and the storm Please wrap me warm In the cold And the winds and the storm Will you wrap me warm Please wrap me warm Oh, it's cold Out in the winds and the storm So please wrap me warm Will you wrap me warm Oh, it's cold Out in the winds and the storm So won't you wrap me warm Oh, it's cold In the winds and the storm Will you wrap me warm In the cold and the winds and the storm Will you wrap me warm? Please wrap me warm Oh, it's cold here in the winds and the storm So please wrap me warm Oh, wrap me warm Wow, that was uh, Ali Bullivant on Wrap Me Warm a beautiful track uh, Ali tell us something yes. your music your writing sound beautiful what's the secret of your writing songs oh golly well there is no secret I like this question because oh. I always like musicians uh, songwriters composers to reveal themselves so that <laughs> <laughs> the oh. audience the one listening to Radio Africa IA, there's not only people who love music but also musicians mm. so they would like also to hear what other musicians secret is about Reveal it uh-huh. before you enter the house. <laughs> All right, okay. Well, I think um, I've been writing songs since I was a child. So the first song I wrote that was ever sung publicly was when I was 10 years old, actually. Right. And it was a, for a school song. And I wrote a song for assembly, actually. Right. And then it was just amazing to have the whole school singing my song. Sure. Um, yeah, it was very rich. Um, and I've always written poetry since, again, since being a child. So it was, and for me as a singer, which is my main thing, I think that's my main gift. Yes. It was a natural progression to go into songwriting. Exactly. Yes. Um, so I've been writing forever um, and honing my craft really, and learning and learning and learning. True. Um, listening to how other people put songs together. That's very interesting, isn't um, it? Yeah, and yeah. it's taken many, many years to. Um, I think you, you never stop learning how to do it, mm-hmm. and you know. I've done some duff ones and yes, as well. Which is uh, um, <laughs> agreeable, yes. <laughs> but I hope that uh, most of my songs um, are quite lyrical, they're quite poetic. They're Truly, often yes. stories yes. Um, taken from a, a myriad of different angles of inspirations life. And inspirations, angles of life. influences, yeah. yeah. But to be absolutely honest, and I've probably never said this much before, Yes. Um, I started writing my best music probably about from 15, 16 years ago. Right. And it was... Um, again after something very very sad that happened exactly yeah and you change your life changes if something very sad happens so yeah. my, my father died oh. and that was which you know which happens again yeah. part of life i'm talking yeah, about exactly, death a yeah. lot today that's yeah. interesting no, no, don't no. usually that's, that's what it's all about it's <laughs> all about us promoting yeah. so that for us to promote we have to hear from the from from our our vip members yeah. if i can call you you are a vip uh-huh. so tell us the story and then that's the story as we're gonna sell to the radio Africa listeners. Yeah. That's what it's all about. I think, you know, you know we're all on a journey, aren't we, for our, our lives? And exactly. Fantastic, yes. wonderful things happen all the time. Truly our true. lives are yeah. full of love and yeah. sharing and yeah. giving. And they're also, in order to enjoy that, there also have to be the opposite side. And our exactly, lives yes. are full of pain. Yeah. And I think if you're an artist and have an artist's heart, mm-hmm. we can we can all use that pain as a way to yeah. move on. Exactly. And it yeah. actually opens something up when something absolutely life changing happens to us truly truly everything yeah. changes yeah. doesn't it yeah because <laughs> that's the way i wanted to put a question to ask what is always trigger you to write songs and uh, if i just mm. wrap it on top as a question it goes I already explained uh, yeah. that's the way it's supposed to be that what triggers you to write songs and the way you're explaining it 
there is a lot of incidents of life have made you to write songs yeah you know? and uh, um, also i'm very interested in um history and stories of people Charlie, yes. um so i've had two commissions um this summer actually right. one from the national coal mining museum in, in england uh-huh. um and i've done a lot of work with them around the history of coal mining so you're talking about um, environments now yeah right so i wrote a lot of songs about um about that about people's experience of mining about exactly. the fun side of it as well as the serious side of it right um and i also had a fantastic time being musician in residence <laughs> at the yorkshire wildlife park right um where i wrote songs about the animals the and animals people's yes. experience of the african animals exactly um yeah. which was then um performed with a, a lot of different musicians who i brought into yeah we, with we, me. we're gonna talk about this uh africa journey also because uh, it's part of <laughs> of part of your profile it is. Uh, <laughs> so now is that possible that uh, we can have um, butterflies uh, yeah butterflies will sound good isn't it and this is one of the mining songs actually oh surprisingly right. so wait and hear for it inspired by you so i start picking up things straight away uh-huh. we're talking about butterflies from ali bullivant yeah Yes, got it. Butterfly. Here we go. Who would have thought and how that 400 years of coal would attract so many types of butterflies? Lap wings on the lake and black-headed gulls on ice. Coots, teals and dab chicks dabbling. Little brown hopping birds and robins in the reeds, mute swans sailing on by to oaken shore. From man to fragile thing, from sooty. Was a butterfly from Ali Bolivant. 
Call it right, isn't it? Right. We're having a very beautiful time with this lovely album written by uh, Ali, the Wakefield album. Collaboration or sound very beautiful and there's a lot of uh, creativity on it. The songs sound very sweet, uh, very opening. It's just like a door to paradise. Oh, thank yes. you very much. That's the way I feel when I listen to this album of yours. Mm. Uh, tell me, any collaborations? On that album? Yes. Um, well, the, the last song, um, I was really happy that uh, it had that beautiful flugelhorn solo. Yeah. It's, it's a song about um, uh, the mine near where I live, actually, in the village where I live. Right. And it commemorates the mining disaster that happened there and the men who died. Okay. But the mine is now made into the most beautiful country park. It's ah. absolutely beautiful. Right. And uh, it the song originally was a song by a friend of mine called Pete Rossa, right. which he wrote as a choir piece, okay. and then um, which which I sang, um, and then I took the song with his permission and changed it into something that was more specifically uh, um, about. Uh, you made it your the, own. You made yeah, it your own exactly. because that's the way it is. With anyway. his yes. truly is. Yes. Obviously, and the collaboration of the spirit is very very important. Yeah. Uh, like we're linking, you know, we're linking the world. Uh, we've got plenty of space to link ourselves with yeah and collaborating is part of it when we collaborate we exchange yeah culturally and you can name it yeah and that exchange is very very important because that's what inspires all yeah when you've got something left somewhere and then you take it and turn it to a beautiful or more beautiful or more beautiful that's what we want isn't it that's what we want. so it means where our ancestors left this world we've got a duty to make it more better we have indeed yes yeah. we've got a beauty of doing things in our hands exchanging what we've got the beauty of traveling exchanging our music mm. do you ever travel somewhere around africa because i hear butterflies <laughs> butterflies <laughs> yes did you have seen some apart from in england oh, these yeah. butterflies do you ever see other butterflies somewhere oh, i have is that uh, <laughs> somewhere <laughs> yeah <laughs> tell us a little bit about you going out around the world yeah I'm a big traveller, actually. I travel a lot. Um, and I have a particular heart for Africa. Yes. Um, and many different countries in Africa. I've been very lucky that I've travelled a lot. Um, Sound good, yes. Um, my, my particular love where my heart lies is Zambia. Right. Um, and I was lucky enough to spend most of last year living in Zambia. Beautiful countries. In in good there. people, oh, yes. Oh, my goodness me. Lovely. It's so yes. beautiful. Yes. Um, and I work a lot with African musicians. Right. And during my um, stay last year, um, I set up uh, an organisation called Music Bus, which was uh, bringing music projects into schools and communities, um, and also working alongside local musicians, both in Zambia and Zimbabwe. That's actually. good. That's I was beautiful. In both countries. Cultural exchanges. Yes. Um, yeah, mm. and we were doing cultural exchange. Yes. Um, and we were helping each other to learn about um, how to deliver projects. Oh, that's beautiful. Um, in the community and schools, mm -hmm. and also um, working together to create music music so we did a lot of performing at various festivals and all sorts of things it was a, a fantastic experience truly yes um and yeah and interesting this album um i, I released just before i went to africa okay and it's very un-african this one <laughs> Which is I agree quite with you, unusual. Yes. Although well, there, there are some djembe <laughs> lines under a yes, couple of the yes, songs. Yes, yes, yes. I think you mentioned. Yeah, I mentioned, you, yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Which one was that actually? I, I forgot I can, which one it is. Yeah, now. It, it had beautiful. Uh, I think it's the I next one that is coming. It's lavish. I think it's lavish. Is it that uh, one? Lavish love. Well, it might be wrap me warm. I'm not quite sure. Anyway, we're going to play yeah. some more, more, and more from you. Anyway, Thank you. apart from the live one, uh, sound good about uh, cultural changes, because mm. uh, this is what us we do. That's the reason of the radio. Africa existence yeah. is about promoting culture. Yeah. So, in fact, this program you are in is called Crossing Cultures. Oh, perfect. So, it's about us bringing in and, and out what we are exchanging yeah. between Africa and Britain, United Kingdom. Mm. So, today, to be honest, you are in the right, you are in the right program, delivering the right program because part of your journey in music has been cultural exchange in Africa. Yeah. You know, if I mention Africa, because uh, that's what we were talking about. We were talking about butterflies. And did you ever see any butterflies in Africa? Well, I must have done, but um, I saw more <laughs> hippos and elephants. Yes, <laughs> less less a butterfly, you mean? <laughs> 
yeah, I did see lots of very beautiful butterflies. Exactly, yeah. Beautiful. Because yeah. Uh, even your album is there. It's uh, very colourful. It's beautiful. Yeah. You had beautiful time there, isn't it? Sunshine. Oh, oh my gosh, I just absolutely love it. And I can't wait to go back. I'm hoping to go for a couple of months, um, maybe at Christmas through, after that, back again. You know when you've got a heart, when you've got love, mm. you find it very easy to mingle, isn't it? Yes, yeah, yeah. Because wherever you go, you share the yeah. beauty of your heart. Yes. And given to you yeah. by the earliest, means the parents. Yeah. When you are brought up in that spirit to learn to respect others the way you respect yourself, love the others the way you love yourself, that's the way he goes. Yeah. Huh? You're talking about lavish love. How did he come up? Lavish Love is actually a song about Barbara Hepworth, who's mm. a sculptor. Right. Um, and this um, song came from her biography. Right. Um, and a lot of artists are quite um, angst-driven. <laughs> and I loved reading her biography where she said she, all she remembered about her childhood is how beautiful it was and how lovely her parents were. True. And how they just allowed her to, to be creative. Exactly, yes. Um, which is a really important message for everyone, really. Truly, truly, yes. To develop your creativity and to be encouraged to do so. Yes, yes. Keep on, yes. I'm so listening, yeah. She, um, she just spoke about how um, she remembered being wrapped in lavish love from her parents and I just thought that was such a lovely lyric you're talking about love is love that's the beauty because you considered yourself to that so it means you saw yourself to that love culture a change a change with humanity what you've got in your heart I was the first born and we were poor my parents were young a house full of discipline and education that's how my life began Ali, And I only remember being loved I only remember being loved My father so gentle and kind My mother so beautiful and inspiration Happiness and pride We're all wrapped in lavish love All wrapped in lavish love all of my memories when I was young Are textures and shapes Moving through Yorkshire in my father's car I am the landscape And I only remember being loved I only remember being loved My father gentle and kind My mother so beautiful and inspiration Happiness and pride We're all wrapped in lavish love All wrapped in lavish I won't forget her face And I only remember being loved I only remember being loved My father gentle and kind My mother so beautiful and inspiration Happiness and pride All wrapped in lavish love All wrapped in lavish love Wrapped in lavish love, all wrapped in lavish love. Voila, Ali Bullivant. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Checking on your eyes if you say yes, that's why. Okay. <laughs> it's beautiful, beautiful. Your music is sweet. Uh, let's agree one thing this, whole, this album must be out there to many so that they can really benefit from this beautiful writing. Mm. and the beautiful singing is by promoting we make sure that at radio africa IA, we do our best as uh, really have traveled far away to come and see us today which is beautiful and the story around your music the remaining part of it is that we still have to go to the end and finish it mm. but before we go to the end tell us what amazed you in africa there's something that you're coming up with 
Um, what, Your time in Africa. What amazed me about it? Um, I, it's really hard to explain if you've never been. Yes. But certainly um, for myself, my ex- I've been going for about twenty-five years, and the f- and I've always had a love of African music and dance. True. Um, and again, when I was a really sh- young child, we had an African dance company come to our school. Right. And um, teach us some some steps and some exactly. rhythms. And the the moment I heard the drum, uh-huh. I was just there. I was just thinking. So that we I just it love up. this. I love this. I love this. That's beautiful. Um, and um, yeah, so there's something about when you actually go there about the the, the land mm-hmm. and the environment and the animals and the smells <laughs> and the warmth and the s- light and the sky that just grounds you very, very gently and firmly in the in the earth. Mm-hmm. That is very different from being here, and especially if you go to the the rural parts. Um, if you're in the city, it's a city. It's still great and mm-hmm. exciting and different to here. It truly but is. But it's 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 actually when you get out into the uh, rural parts and you see the animals and you see the landscape that actually hasn't changed for millennia. Yes. And you visit Intact. people in yes. the villages yes. who are still living. I mean, it is changing, of course. Yeah. But in many ways, if you go out to the really rural parts, people are still living in a way that they've lived. For many 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 years and I always say right, once the apocalypse comes I'm going to, I'm moving to the village <laughs> yes. in Africa yes. people know how to survive <laughs> yes even if you don't live very long you know how to survive yeah. on very little um, I just love it and I love the spirit and I love yeah. the warmth of the people yeah and and I just absolutely can't tell you enough how much I love the animals that's beautiful especially the elephants exactly yeah and so I've lived I'm so grateful if I died tomorrow I could say at least I've lived yeah, with lived. elephants walking <laughs> through my garden <laughs> and oh, I right, mean yes. and hippos yes. on the lawn um, and you know I, I, oh. any project for that place um I did a lot of projects while I was there yes. I've been back now a year August yes um I'm hoping as I say to go back mm-hmm. and and re- rekindle some of the projects that I started True. while I was there mm-hmm. um and see if they're keeping going and seeing I'm I'm absolutely expecting to get back to Livingstone mm-hmm. and that all the children I work with will still be singing some of the songs I taught them right. and will have taught them to the rest of the school. <laughs> because, uh, they Can you sing us one line of it? <laughs> Oh, which is the one they liked? Um, yeah. Oh, golly, what's the one they like? I've gone blank. Right. Uh, I'll give you a little bit of time. Yeah. Give me a little bit of time. It'll come back to <laughs> yes. me. Yeah. Truly, yeah. No oh, problem. Yes, you this is the one they liked. That's the one. Yes. It was a call and response, so it was yes. quite a shout. So it used to go fee, fee, yeah. fee, five, fee, five, fee, five, fiesta, fee, five, fiesta. Oh, 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 fiesta. Oh, 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 fiesta. Eeny, meeny, macaroni, walla, walla, meeny. And they used to, as soon as they saw me walking along the road, they'd they would start sing that singing song, it. Yeah. Even kids I'd never met because they'd been taught by friends or. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I heard you talking about nectarine tree. Yeah. You know, feel, feel like beautiful. Where there's a little bit of that uh, agglomeration of uh, beautiful exchange, the sound. Mm. It's not only remaining as a British touch, but it goes a little bit beyond. Mm. So it's part of that uh, you embracing also beyond cultures. Yeah, it's it is that, and also this this song's very much. I wrote it actually with allotment users in right. um, Wakefield. We're growing these these extraordinary fruits from other lands and and connecting in that way to exactly the rest yes. of the world. Truly, yes. Um, you know, our environment's not very good with nectarines, but yeah. they were making them grow. And this is really a song about. Um, about the joy that you can get from working with the earth uh-huh. and growing your own food. Truly, yeah. And like in Africa, isn't it? Exactly. <laughs> and I think, you know, we need to, ca- uh, not we need to, but but it's beneficial it's to our health and our spirit and, exactly. our, and everything to dig the soil exactly, and grow yeah. our own food. Yeah. So now we're talking about nectaring tree. Here we go. <laughs> Ali Bullivant on nectaring tree. Connections to connections is about culture, it's about the beauty of living. I need to protect my nectarine tree. Never have I known and nurtured such a beauty. See it in the summer when it's covered in flowers. And the 38 nectarines is given to me. I've got a bag of seeds, I've got a bag of beans. We've been overrun with beetroot, we've been blessed with peas. If I didn't come here, you know I wouldn't go out. I don't know much about it, but we've built our own greenhouse. 
When I stand on the earth I can feel his power Digging the soil I can feel his force Work with the land and I feel connected Breathing the air I can feel my worth When I stand on the earth I can feel his power Digging the soil I can feel his force Work with the land and I feel connected Breathing the air I can feel my worth Tubers, dahlias, soil warming cables and asparagus Poms, giants, winning blooms Deborah's kiwi is the flower I grew See my seedies scaring up pigeons Cutting up cabbages, scooping our slugs Paraffin rides kill those little black flies It's a full-time constant battle between me and the bugs When I stand on the earth I can feel his power Digging the soil I can feel his force Work with the land and I feel connected Breathing the air I can feel my worth When I stand on the earth I can feel his power Digging the soil I can feel his force Work with the land and I feel connected Breathing the air I can feel my worth Makers, doctors, psychologists too Barbara from Poland and a potter who's cool A lover of horses and a group from the school When I stand on the earth I can feel its power Digging the soil I can feel its force Work with the land and I feel connected Breathing the air I can feel my worth When I stand on the earth I can feel its power Digging the soil I can feel its force Work with the land and I feel connected Breathe in the air, I can feel my worth When I stand on the earth, I can feel its power Dig in the soil, I can feel its force Work with the land and I feel connected Breathe in the air, I can feel my worth Wow! Oh, that's beautiful! just beautiful i'm just even not sometimes having something to add <laughs> apart from say it's beautiful <laughs> <laughs> that was very kind. Thank oh you. yes yeah. we're going to the end of our program now uh, i think we had a beautiful interview so tell us something what is next from ali Bullivant? what's next oh well there's always loads going on lots to do right. um i'm hoping to get back in the studio now right. now the summer's kind of over and um i've been, I've been singing a lot all summer and doing True. a lot of yes. projects exactly yes um i've got a lot of new songs to record things that i wrote in africa and things that have been developed this year yeah um so i really want to get in and maybe the next album would be called the africa album right the Wakefield yeah. album i'll be very pleased to hear that yeah <laughs> Um, and bringing in because various I, African artists to collaborate with. Exactly. Yeah. That so uh, sounds very good. That's actually where my question wanted slightly, a little bit to come up. Mm -hmm. It's a very small question. You very you are a musicologist. Musicologist. Um, I, I I wouldn't I wouldn't call myself that, but I guess I am in spirit, yeah, and in heart. You Why know? you cannot call yourself um, practically? I just call myself a musician. Right. <laughs> Because in your songs, there's a lot of pieces that are coming instrument played. Yes, yeah. Apart from guitar, what do you play again? Um, well, myself, really, yes. I, I only play guitar mostly. All right. Um, I play a little bit of djembe. The djembe, uh, yeah. I play a little bit of lots of things, but my main instrument, I always say, is my voice. I see what you mean, Because that yes. was my training. I was trained in voice, and then guitar, I've just learnt to play along to the play. way. And add um, a few bits again of djembe you know, and all this. Yeah, I mean, you know. little bits and bobs. Um, and then I bring lots of people in who are multi instrumentalist so, exactly um, yes. so my new music we have a lot of um, violin we yeah. have uh, mandolin yeah. uh, ukulele yes. always djembe's cool. <laughs> <laughs> so I know lots of djembe yeah. players <laughs> <laughs> you mean the Zambia party who have to remain? <laughs> yes. 
Yeah. That's very good. I mean, uh, that's the way it is anyway. Collaborations mm. yeah. uh, is always very, very important. Mm. So next year you're saying you're coming up with an album, isn't it? I'm hoping so. Yeah, I'm hoping to get in the studio when, now as soon as possible. When you think, if you can guess around what time we can expect you on the shelves? Well, with any with any luck, by Easter. Yeah, by Easter next year. Um, yeah. If we can turn it around that quickly. You guys, so. are you listening to Radio Africa? I, by Easter, Ali will come back for us again. Okay. So we're going to talk about it anyway the next time we got a new album again. But uh, it was just lovely having you, Ali. Beautiful of your album is that I would like to hear again one more time one of your track. Uh, or oh, even more, more and more because that's what we'll be playing all the time anyway to promote ourselves and promote you too as the artist with this beautiful album. Is that possible we can listen to uh, which one? Uh, da, 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 da. Brave. Breathe again. Oh, I'm going to get you beautiful. into to sing it with me. Yes. Here we go. I will say it. I will admit I this is my favorite one from Ali Bolivar. Dance the storm Breathe again I've been fighting for my life But now the fire's back in my eyes And I can breathe again Everything is gonna be alright Spread my wings out in the sun Spring breeze, watch my spirit soar, loving liberty, not a power of the land, need to dwell on the shore, I'm gonna go on past the moon, I'm gonna dance the been listening to Radio Africa IA. Well, we're going to the end. we we'll lack like Ali to tell you the last words. Ali, where can we get your music? This is, this is beautiful music I never come across and I would like others to have it again because I've got some few tr- albums given to me for the cues. But where can they get your music, man? You can um, download the album or the single tracks from iTunes yes. um, and Google Play. Um, if you like my Facebook page, Ali Bullivant Sings, you can see what I'm up to. And also, if you wanted a, a physical album, you're welcome to message me and I can get one to you. So how can they message you? There's a contact on your album? Um, you if you go via the Facebook page, oh, by, okay. yeah, you can. that's the best way. Um, yeah, that's so the they go on the Facebook is Ali 
Bullivant, yeah? Ali Bullivant sings. Yeah, or sings, yes. The so page. so yeah. you guys, you had, if you want to get more, so don't forget to get. Thank you very much, Ali, for having you anyway. This is the end of us, and then we're going to cover it, which the last one before we can go away. This is the second one I like, is uh, Wrap Me Warm. Right, thank you very much for coming anyway. We really appreciate your time, and I think we're gonna see you one more time again, and one more time, and one more time. Uh, Our friendship will never end because your <laughs> beautiful music must be there so that we can keep our Radio Africa I listeners happy. Thanks. Thank you very much for coming, Ali. You have a lovely journey going back to work of field. Thank you very much. Warm me in this night In my trust in freedom Though my blanket's thin and torn Wrap me warm Outside lies oppression I put my trust in freedom My palm is ready for your hand Wrap me warm in the cold And the wind and the storm to shore and I'll dig a hole to hide in and I'll pray to God the roof won't fall in the cold and the wind and the storm wrap me warm Please wrap me warm.